Welcome everybody to Spin Rack. Today I'm here with my boy PD again. Kyle will be showing up in spirit sooner rather than later. No, I'm just bugging. We'll see him soon. But today we're talking about Batman. Yes, Batman. The only character that DC basically has. I know no, you Superman. No, not true. I know not you Superman true. lovers. But look, Batman not is true. the only character they ever really talk about. Today the big controversy that's going around the world is that Batman. They're going to make Batman a black man. You hear that? Batman a black man. In and 2020... So this guy, someone else is going to down, going to put on the cowl. Yes, and so the question is, you know, the controversy is causing, hey, why are they making black men back? And also the question is, as in our, aren't there really characters who are, who have been black men? Who, who should take the, the cow? And lastly, why are they doing it? So yes. we're going to answer all those questions for you here in the Spinner Rack. Okay, all right, no phony music. Stop, stop, please. So, Peter, what's your thought on this whole thing? No, movie? what is your thought? Since you're the Batman guy, you going, you're, you say it's a Batman world, so it's why would they need to change Batman? I got only one thing to say. Money? Money, 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 money. What, to hit another demographic? Money. I don't think they need to hit another demographic. Really. Then why would you do it? Well, I think that this whole thing, if you've been reading up the Batman lately, they, they had this whole city of Bane, basically. You know, from when they started with the whole wedding with Batman and Catwoman, the fake wedding, and now this whole series, everybody's coming out of the woodworks, and it seems Bane. Who would have thought that Bane was a, ma a, a genius mastermind? He always had that aspect to him. I don't know. I thought totally differently. But the point is, <laughs> is that Bane is... you got to read those, the Bane, Bane setting up Batman yeah, so but, he could break his back. Yeah, but that was, I didn't, look, I'm not even going to go into that. There's a whole thing to not I just have, make him a, I you a know, whole, I know big a big muscle-bound muscle muscle killer I mean, guy. he's bigger than almost anyone else. I mean, come on, Rasha Al Ghul. Look, we're not going to digress. The mm -hmm. point is, Bane is the man in this story, and he's the one who's been setting up Batman. He's the brilliant mastermind, and... I think what they're going to do at the end of this show, at the end of this um, this whole thing they're going to do, they're going to slam um, Batman. Batman's going to get hurt, he's going to disappear, he's going to die. And all of a sudden he's going to be gone for a little while, and then they're going to say, hey, who's Batman? We need the Batman and stuff to help us. And for some odd reason, Nightwing is not going to be available. For some odd reason, we're going to have to, um, Damien isn't going to try, or, or is prevented from trying on the cow. And for some odd reason, they're going to say, hey, we got to try somebody else. And they're going to look around, and they're going to choose this one dude. They've been, the, the signal, who's the brother, we thought it could possibly be him, but it's gonna probably, they're saying it's not going to be him. It's going to be somebody else. We don't know who it is, and that's what they're going to choose. And the whole reason they're doing this is It's what? Luke Fox. Is I don't know. money. Okay? They're going to basically no. do the death of Superman, the rise of the Superman, you know, and the return of Superman. And this basically was, I already got the titles. The death of Batman, <laughs> the rise of but the But they Batman. already did the death of Batman. They're going to do another one. The rise of Batman, and the rise of Batman, uh, the rise of the Batman, and the rise of um, and, and, and the return of Batman. So this is what they're gonna do. You know, do they really need to do this? They broke yeah. Batman's back, got a new Batman, and then they did another. You yeah, know. but I'm saying, but do they really need to do this? No. If you look at DC's titles, and of course this is not representative here on the table, DC's titles, you got so a good third of they got one Batman. third of 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 their, their, their top sellers Batman. are Batman related. You know, Batman the Outsiders. Nightwing, Damien, and, and what's the other kid's name? Damien and who? John Superman, whatever his son is name. Oh, you're talking about like the Super Sons. Super Sons, right? And you have all these titles, and yet they just want to milk the Batman mythos. All they're basically doing is saying, hey, you have another idea? Anybody has another idea about what to do with Batman? And that's what they do. Damn, it's just there's too much, guys. Too much. And now they want to walk down this line. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm just saying that it's just... Why not use another character instead of trying to do this to Batman? You know? Well, so I'm going to turn it over to my boy Petey, who is, is usually going to be very contradictory. <laughs> After this, he will no longer be my boy. Petey. Okay, so um, I my issue with any sort of diversity plan books saying to doing the press release saying hey, there's going to be a black Batman in 2020 to let the people that don't read comic books to come out and say we have to buy this book or we have to find if this existing character they'll search out for the comic sellers they'll search out that issue and say this is that book and it'll become it'll cost a lot of money once they do the new Batman and all this other stuff or they can create a, their, their own character but I think like what, what, what? there's a bunch of 
bat related. I'm items. saying like um, the idea, like what was it? Um, Israel, the cat, the guy who became Batman. Yeah. They introduced him in the Sword of Is Israel, yeah. and then next, you know, he became Batman. It became sort of a surprise, this darker character, all this other stuff. But then you go to the Sword of Israel. That book. I mean, now I guess I'm not sure if it's shot up in, in much because at that period it was such a so much you know so much um, so many comics it wasn't I don't know if the only older books really were the big deal in the 90s so it was like the comics when it come out Batman and Batman was at 500 Detective 500 it was like a huge book and everyone bought it and this that and the other but the, what I like is the diversity that you don't do the press release for we just do the comic book and you say this is Batman and the picture behind us is from DC Comics. They they published it in I think the This is Man Bat. No, it's not Man Bat. This is DC Comics did an alternate time alternate universe version of DC Comics mm -hmm. done by Stan Lee. And Stan Lee's first thing was just imagine Stan Lee creating Batman. So Stan Lee's Batman was a character who's wrongly accused and put in jail. And he picks him up from his, himself up from his bootstraps, straps, learns how to fight, learns all uh, very much a tactician, and then he slowly, with his own mind, becomes a millionaire. And then next thing you know, he decides he wants to fight crime too. So he develops a suit. He dresses as a bat, an actual bat, not a modified bat. He actually to scare the to scare the, uh, the out of criminals, and at the same time, excuse me. <laughs> and at the same time, it was um, at the same time it was done by um, Joe Kubert. So we go here, and then we have a uh, Batman who's a black man that they didn't do a press release. The press release was Stan Lee doing DC comic books. So the Batman was a black man dressed as a bat, an yes. animal. Yeah, yeah, yes. like it. What like the Batman here who's dressed as a bat? That's what they say. He's dressed as a bat. That's not dressed as a bat. That's dressed in a costume. Oh my that God. is dressed. In I bat. will become that bat. I will become that bat. Clearly, he does. So I'm just saying. I like this idea of just saying, "Here's Batman. Here's Batman as is," and he was an interesting character. He showed up in St just imagine Stan Lee's Robin, who was an Asian character. And they become sort of connected. They have this connection. And um, I think John Byrne created that with Stan Lee, the Robin. And he, of course, is a big fan of Joe Kubert. So he had the Just Imagine Batman all through that book. And then there was also a, um, I think, a Mexican uh, Wonder Woman. And she had a shield. It was done by Jim Lee. And then there was also... Because um, I think I bought the first six in the JLA issue. They had a female Flash. And this is one of the most dynamic characters I've seen in this universe. They're all, the designs were a lot of fun. And I'm saying, this is what my thing with diversity has always been. Is to say, you can be as diverse as you want. Mm -hmm. But don't do the press release to say this is the next transgender character, uh, character because you can't really but show they that you can sell the books if the books don't sell on their own merit you can't try to get people by these stunts and this these are stunts when you see them and you go when you hear death of superman is on television and not when superman basically gets stuck on a prehistoric island you can't sell that in the news then it's a stunt if you go around and you say okay now you know she hulk is transgender right and then you don't promote anything else from the She-Hulk, then you're like, it's a stunt. I don't know what else to say. I, 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 I don't know how many more examples do I have to give you. Once you decide that Superman is a, a little person, and then you decide, you know what, we got, you know, like we're, we're including more people, it's like, it's a stunt. If there's like, if you look at Iron Man, Iron Man was replaced by Jim Rhodes, who was in the book, from um, I think it's Iron Man for quite a while. Uh, one hundred eighteen. He was introduced as a you know like a, someone who worked for Stark Industries became uh, Tony Stark's friend. Knew of uh, Tony Stark being Iron Man. A relationship. 
I'm connection. Sorry, and then Tony Stark, they decided to play out Tony Stark being an alcoholic, and he exits the book or he's sidelined, and Jim Rhodes takes over the mantle of Iron Man. Now, outside of the comics promoting it, there was no new. Well, Iron Man was a third, a second, or third tier character at that point in the '80s. But they did a maybe a fifty. What was it? What would that be? Maybe a three-year storyline with Jim Rhodes as Iron Man. Was it that long? I thought it was less. Well, maybe it was two years. But I know it was somewhere around one hundred and sixty to close to two hundred, where he switched over. Mm-hmm. It was around two hundred. He got the new uh, the new outfit, the Scarlet Centurion outfit. But that wasn't. And you're forgetting the Falcon. Well, well, oh, I mean, America. but that's I mean those things. Yeah, he he's become Captain America twice. And, um, but I just don't want you to do, I don't want the press releases. And these press releases saying that Moon Girl's the smartest person in the Marvel Universe or anything like that, that leads you to say, hey, wait, we're waving to the public and we're saying, come out, come read. When, if you're interested in comics, just go out. Look at all these books that Mars got. He got like a ton of books, right? That's what you need to do. <laughs> <laughs> you need to buy these books, and then you'll find out. Oh wow! Look, you know, there's a person of color in this um, in this Punisher book. You're like, that's where you find out if they. You're like, oh, you don't want them to have the news legitimize your comic books. I want to go in and say, oh, Marvel is doing what they say they're doing. Not, uh, oh, they they gave us a, a beeline, a yellow book road to find the diversity. When you're like saying, "Hey, Marvel, I want a Monica Rambeau Captain Mar- Captain Marvel book," that sort of thing. So my my thing is, you can do whatever you want in comic books. The idea is like, do what you want, just don't break the characters, and don't leave the characters out of the book long enough where they might forget the real character. Like the same way Jane Foster and Thor. Like Thor's coming back is a big deal, but people still they're fans of Jane Foster. How? <laughs> so I mean that's the only thing that's the issue I have you can do whatever you want I mean we look at the merits of the story I mean I was I was hoping a lot for this one but then someone I, I heard a, a via text message said this wasn't really the bomb it might have colored what I thought but um, you know you can we, go we, we're not talking about that I'm just saying we're just go out I'm saying go out and you can check out these books and then if you find diversity and then you're like wow these guys are already doing it not that it started in 2019 or 2020 when Batman becomes, you know, Batman co- becomes a black guy. And that's all I have to say about it. Well, thank you for that, Petey. Yes, it definitely was left. But Stan yeah. Lee, he did it without you asking for it. And Stan Lee, but the point, again, that's just an, another story of the, of the Batman mythos, the entire whole Batman universe. Again, let's get back to it. Why is DC doing it? It's money. They want to make more money, and that's all they really care. And they more money push, for what? By pushing the envelope once more. You know, and, and what envelope? The diversity envelope? The, the, the changing a major character. You know, I mean, we, we saw the whole backlash that happened with Marvel with Ironheart and mm-hmm. and Falcon to a degree, and you know, people people have have pretty set ideas on some of their favorite characters, and mm-hmm. it's understandable. You know, these are characters you've grown up with. In fact, we were just discussing that now in the Marvel universe, Nick Fury's son, Nick Fury Jr., mm-hmm. <laughs> his black son, is now taking over his role. So. That's pretty interesting in and of itself. Mm-hmm. Um, look, you know, Marvel, um, DC's going to do what DC's going to do, but yeah, I, you know, I think they keep drinking the the, the trough of, of um, Batman and the rate it's going to go. We're not going <laughs> to. You're going to probably run people away. Mm-hmm. This is the way they opened up a whole bunch of different X Men titles, and after a while, you didn't know what was going on, what timeline they were in, who was what, where was what, you know. So, you know, go for it, but you know, I, I reserve judgment on that. Mm-hmm. Petey, you reserve judgment? No, I mean, there's no there's no interest in going to. If you do a press release, there's unless I know the talent, like the idea that maybe I was already. The thing is, if I was already going for it, then maybe so, right? If I was back in the days when I was collecting to sort of bag and box them, maybe so. But right now, I'm not gonna watch the news. If the news say that you know. Jim Lee and Chris Claremont is doing a new X-Men, possibly. But most of the time, not really. Right. So, I mean, the, ca- the characters that people have been talking about are Duke Thomas. I believe he is, what, The Signal? Yes. Right? Then we also have um, 
Who's the oh, character? Oh, Batwing. 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 That's, that's yeah. Luke Luke Fox. And then we that's also probably people, the guy. People also said mentioned Black Lightning. You know, so that's I kind of funky, but yeah, <laughs> those are characters that relate to 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 to, to Batman. Batman. Yeah, or work with them. So we don't know what's going to be. It could be a whole new character, probably. No. So, yeah. You know, hopefully, but. Again, if it's going to be a regular character, it has to be someone there. And, and how mm -hmm. do you explain Nightwing not being there? I mean, if there's anyone who should have So he can be mad about it later. So they say, why didn't you pick no, me? Saying, why didn't you pick me? Be, you should have picked me. Should be, it should be the son of Batman, and that's, no. that's Nightwing. No. Oh, Night. Okay, that's sort of son. His first. His, his adopted first. son. His adopted that's, that's son. That's yeah, what okay. he is. That's that's a, I stand corrected. You know, Ward, who the hell uses <laughs> Ward anymore? This is not 13th century, 18th yeah. century America. It is Ward. All right, so Spinarak is out.